Okay, something crazy just dropped. Let me show it to you. That was the full trailer, and probably the last one we'll get until the demo comes out. I don't know if there'll be a trailer after I get the demo or something like that, but that's probably the last trailer. Probably not. I'm not the creator of the game or developer, but yeah, you know what time it is now. It's time to analysization. First, let's start with The Office like we do in every video, because that's where the trailer starts usually. Now, The Office the office has changed dramatically in my opinion. I mean, not really, but we got some new things I'm going to talk about, and some old things I might point out. Now, the first thing is let's take a look at the vent, shall we? Now... Look at this vent, and then I'm going to show you the teaser vent. Look at the vent. Do you see a difference? First of all, in the teaser, there's a button. You can close the vent. But if you look back at the full trailer, where, where did it go? Where did it go? No, that's a serious question. Where did it go? Where's the button? I just see stay clear of the vent, I think that says. But where'd it go? And let's look at the concept art. It looks the exact same. So, the full trailer took inspiration from the concept art. And they decided to get rid of that little button. I wonder how the mechanic's gonna work now. Is it gonna be like a Freddy mask? Like FNAF 2? We'll see. Now another thing is the posters as you can see there's only one new poster i already explained the like concept arts poster so just look at my old video if you want to know about that but it seems we have a new poster here let's check it out now it's kind of blurry but it looks like a dog i can't tell what he's holding it looks like a freaking kitchen equipment, but I can kind of see the red. It says, like, Doug or Doing for, like, the thing he's holding. That's obviously a dog, I think, in it. I think it's one of the five different enemies that we're going to be seeing. So, yeah, that's all I can speculate from that. Now, there's one more thing about the office I want to talk about, and that's the color of it. It's kind of gray, it is gray, and maybe brownish, I can't really tell from that. And it looks like they polished up the place a bit, like with the lights in the door. And uh, let's take a look at the other office colors and look at them compared to this. Now, as you can see, they're pretty much white, except for the concept art's a little gray, but not really. But yeah, the color and the po and they polish things up has both changed. In three versions, the colors changed, but the polish not really. And uh, yeah, next topic. Now this next topic's about to be brief. It's just this hand. I want to point out that oh, they're shutting the door, so it's obviously gonna be a mechanic when you shut the door. It's just gonna show Jake's hand. If you don't know who Jake is and you don't know I'm. Um, yapping about just go back to my bat uh, my um first video i post on five nights of shadows and 
it explains who Jake is and the lore and the creation of shadows. And yeah, it's just a little mechanic. We get to see Jake's arm. Now this... The eyes kind of look like the same one from the concept art. Let me show you. So first we have these. And these. And if you look closely on this one, you can actually see a full body. If you, bur if you turn your brightness up. And it's like a Bonnie. It... Either maybe Shadow himself, because Shadow's a bunny, or it could be a suit. And I have a reason for it. It could be a suit later, too. Now, at the end of the office area of the trailer, we can see the building catches on fire. Either from something like oil or engine, or Jake himself sets it on fire. Or even maybe the animatronic or suit did it. We don't really know. It, as soon as it appears at the door, the fire starts. So we could be trying. Jake could be trying to light it on fire or something like that. Or it's trying to light Jake on fire. Well, we don't know. Or, you know, the other possibility, j engines broke. I think more that Jake did it himself to try to heal that thing from following him but i don't know really on this topic well it's time to talk about the important part of the trailer the part that is the most of importance in this trailer um of my opinion the costume now look at this picture and Remember the costume theory I said earlier about the blue eyes not actually being shadow? Well, look at this. Look at the pelvis or body. And, and then look at the image again. The, the, uh, I'm talking about the shadow. And then look at this. There was the same circled belly. And you could even see the ribbon. This could be the same costume as in the shadows from the door. It's also proven because in this picture of the man in the suit, there's no head on, so we don't know. It could be a rabbit costume or another costume. Now, I have four people that could be this person in the picture. Let me show them and make sure to look at the bottom for them. These are the four I have selected. And they are Guy, Kevin, Mark, the owner of Freddy's right now. And only one of these can be the man in the suit. And I think I found our culprit. Let me start off by eliminating the owner of Freddy's. The reason I do such is because I don't see why he would go to another establishment and traumatize some kid who's trying to survive. Or whatever that costume's trying to do. But let's minus him out. Because I don't think he's as evil as William Afton. He's just trying to run a business, you know, like Jack from Day Shift to Freddy. So let's get rid of him. Now the next I'll be eliminating is Guy. The reason I do this is because we don't know much about him. And he's just someone who knew Freddy's. He's really there for plot or relevance. But maybe he was important later on. I don't know. It's speculation. But I don't think it would make much sense. He doesn't have really a motive like others. So I'm getting rid of him next. The final two. Kevin and Mark. These two. The owners of the company. And I think the one behind the costume man is Mark. Let me explain. The reasons Mark is the costume, or at least what I think. Oh boy. Where do I start? Remember when Kevin kicked him out of his own restaurant? Yeah, that seems like a big point to go on and get revenge. 
At the end of my lore video, Cole even stated that he wanted revenge. In 2024, a kid, all, a kid comes in, he could think that was like Kevin or something. Or he just wants revenge, like to have a bad eye on a company. Like, kid gets scared by local animatronic while exploring the place. Something like that to bring down the restaurant that he once owned. Or he just wants to terrify the kid because he thinks it's like Kevin or something. He's coming out to kill the kid. Definitely to kill though, because Cole told me something like that, I think. But his intentions may be to kill. So the company looks bad, or he just wants revenge. He thinks it's Kevin, he wants to kill him. And these were the reasons. Finally, finally, moving on from my in-depth analysis of the costume man, Mark. Anyways, let's move on from for the next part of the um, trailer. So for this part, we get to see Jake running. And as from what I can see and assume, I'm pretty sure this is the ending cutscene, the last cutscene of the game. Since I think most of this trailer takes place on night five or night seven or whatever night's the last one. And... Yeah, we get to see Jake escape and run away. I think that's how it's going to end the first game. And, yeah, so basically, this is what we're going to get. Jake running away. And probably not so happy at his friends for making him stay there. And this is what I think that scene's going to be. Welp, that's the end of the trailer. The last thing we see is the year 2024. And that's the year it's coming out, but it seems like it's got an upgrade also. At the top, there's April. So it's coming out on April 2024. It's all we have confirmed from that. I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis, and I wasn't that much of a bore or too much of a stutterer. So I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye. And... My next video, unless something comes out, just like this trailer just came out of nowhere. The demo gameplay will be here soon. See y'all, and have a great night, or whatever time you're watching this. Afternoon, morning, just have a great everything, man. Bye. You didn't have to cut